wait, 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 wait. Let me let me get my intro. Let me get my intro straight. <coughs> oh god, damn, I just forgot it. So, uh, oh, why am I so bad? Hey guys, what is going on here today? Today I have a um, new video. Um. <coughs> <coughs> By the way, I can't be bothered to edit that out. Today I have a new video, and it's just going to be me showing um, how I do defensive mode or just practice mode because I have no friends or my friends can't even go that far. So um, today, um, as you can see, my loadout is Dart from Super Monkey. The Dart Monkey is to get through the earlier rounds. And the dark monkey is just, and the super monkey is just for me to go as late as possible. I won't be using my fourth tower because um, not everyone will get it. So I would just handicap myself and only use my three towers: the dark monkey, the banana farm, and the super monkey. So as you can see, I've already gotten um, I've already gotten my uh, thousand eco boost. As you can see, I have 145 eco by um, clicking on. By clicking this thing over here at 30 seconds, and then I got my Dark Monkey to zero two, and um, at one at one thirty, right? Um, what you have to do is I would sell your Dark Monkey and then buy this Eco Boost again, and then you would get up this Dark Monkey again and start like taking up rooms. Um, so yeah. Uh, don't worry about early game lives. You aren't going to leak that much. If you even leak to one round. If you leak to round 50, right, you'll probably die, but if you leak to round 1, you won't die, so, um, just take advantage of that, um, even if you have one life, it's not over until it's over, would you rather have one life by an incredible full map, um, tower, full map of towers, um, and the, and the AI balloons can't even get anything past you, or would you rather have, um, just, um, 150 lives on round 50, where ZMGs are coming, but you barely have any defense. <coughs> oh, okay, good. I am so bad at this. Is that Discord? I think Discord is making so many noises. Um, that's his this Discord. We're going for a chest 9 push soon. So as you can see, I got the Eco Boost again. Um, next, I... Um, I'm going to go for the farm. Anyway, it's how I start. Um, firstly, I put my dart monkey here, so then it couldn't like hit this area. What it does is, um, when you always put this on last, it will just keep firing down this line, and it's just really, really good. Um, after you get your farm, upgrade that to one zero, and then place your dart monkey about here. Um. <coughs> I think I'm getting a little sick, so rest in peace me. Anyways, I'm on 285 eco and that's Skype. Um, Skype messages, goddammit. Um, for round 9, right, you need two zero three 3 Dark Monkeys um, in these positions um, to um, defend the regen yellows spaced out, and then you get um, this eco boost one last time. As soon as you get to 355 eco, right, as you can see here, you have to stop, you can't get any eco boosters anymore, you have to start getting up your farms, so now you go for a 2-0 um, plantation and try and save up as much money as possible. Now, the end goal isn't actually to get a factory, no, 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 the end goal is to, um, get the 700 eco boost straight away now as soon as you get your second farm and upgrade it to one zero you have to quickly micro it and then get your um top dark monkey to um two three so it can actually hit here this time um so yeah because since um there's going to be more and more balloons the that, that dark monkey won't anti-store as much and as you can see here this option is available but i didn't um pick it anyway and I'm just gonna let these yellow blooms leak because I'm not gonna die. It won't really matter in the late game that much. I mean, le leaking a mob, you'll die even if you, if you have one life or 150. It doesn't matter. So, um, let's rewind back a little. 
You're probably asking, I have so much money, why am, why am I not getting any more farms? Well, if you upgrade a farm, if you get a farm and then wait three rounds for it, um, and then you sell it, then you will get a, like a slight profit. profit. Um, so, so say I got it on round 14, right? I stopped, you should stop, always stop farming at round 11. So I got that farm at round 11, I know I'm going to get it on round 14. So I, it's going to be a waste of money to get it to a plantation or two zero farm and then sell it. It will just be a slight waste of money. That's why I'm keeping it there. Um, as you can see, um, the two zero farm up here, uh, you can sell it for $2,360, whereas this one zero farm, it's $1,160. Um, I did the math, that's almost $3,500. So you need just a bit more over $4,000 saved up. Um, right now I have 2,900, but um, I'll slowly get there. Um, in two eco boosters, I should be just fine. Um, even with all the bananas coming in from my farms, that would be absolutely fine. So now that I'm over 4,000, I'm just going to sell everything, hope for the best. And I actually got it before five minutes even hit. So I have 1,000 eco before five minutes. And on the fifth minute, I can get my 70 eco boosts. And um, now, after you've done that, you want to place down two extra dart monkeys like these. If you're on mobile and you can't seem to get the placement right, um, putting down three is just fine. I mean, it wouldn't really matter in the end, um, as long as you know what you're doing. Now you go to zero farm, and then on round 16, you want to get three dart monkeys, maybe even four, to defend these uh, zebras. Um, you might want to get... Yeah, here, yeah, I just get like... A fourth dart monkey just in case. <coughs> oh, and a bonus thing is that um, I'm not going to be using a fourth tower, I won't be using um, the boost, and I won't be using tax at all. So that means you can play um, defen defensive mode all day long without even having to use a single bit of energy. Now, in round 18, I just went, uh, why the hell not? And I got. Um, just there. I got um, the camera detection on all of them and I got, I'm getting ready my juggernaut um, because round 19 has leads and you want to prepare for that. Now you don't want to go um, for more than two, three, um, more than three plantations because you already have 1000 eco. Um, it will just be a waste of money to get up some get up uh, about five or six farms and then sell them for a factory because you're going to be getting it um, pretty soon. So I would just recommend getting three plantations and upgrading one of them to a, a free zero republic. And as you can see, I'm just getting up my dart monkeys, um, about 10 of them getting ready for super monkey fan club, but not really yet. And I'm just upgrading them all to two free because why not? Um, so yeah, um, as you can see, my main goal was to not go under 50 lives. So if you did, um, if you if I did um, get to around 50 with um, over 50 lives, that means if I had used energy for a normal defensive mode and placed down all five tacks, um, each tack um, is worth about 20 pops, so um, 20 lives. So You'll probably win the. You'll probably make it to round fifty with no lives lost, so that'll be great. And you'll probably get um seven medallions instead of five, but I think it doesn't really matter. So in round twenty one, <coughs> <coughs> sorry about that. I'm just too lazy to edit those out. So in round twenty five, um, as you can see. Um, round 21, I got my factory, I sold my um, two other farms to do it, but I couldn't get this uh, 700 eco boost later. However, I did get it on exactly 8 minutes, and I did um, get the $170 eco boost as well, which costs $1,000, um, which is so sweet. You probably don't want to um, go for your 4-2 um, factory just yet. Uh, I mean, yeah, okay, now you want to go for your 4 factory. If you survive round 22, I think you need um, 10 dark monkeys like me in those spots to do it. Um, now you just um, don't want to farm, you want to build up some defense. Because round 23, 24, and 25 is coming. And if you're experienced in the game, then 
um, you would know that ceramics are coming and ceramics are quite bothersome. That's why I like overkilled it with the juggernauts. Um, you don't even need that many juggernauts, but um, I just did it anyway because who knows, maybe you'll um, get matched up with a Cobra user. Um, with, when you're against a Cobra user and they're balloon adjusting you, you'll probably need a lot more juggernauts. But um, hey, anyways. Oh my god, I, you have to keep getting these eco boosters, 770, and you just have to practice um, when to go for farms instead. Um, as you can see, um, I'm just getting money so quick, quickly, it's not even worth it to, for me to sell that um, plantation and then rebuy it again. Uh, it's just a slight waste of money. Um, so, yeah. And right now I have five... Um, Juggernauts and 10 2 3 Dark Monkeys, and my eco is 2000. This is even more money than um, what you would have in Assault Mode, um, which is actually pretty cool. Now, as you know, um, round 27 is up, coming up, so um, what you guys need to do is um, prepare to get a fan club for that. Uh, get your third um, factory, and then you should stop about there, I think. Um, am I going to go for another farm? I can't really remember. Um, I don't think I did. No, I don't think I did. And I missed the eco boost here, and that means I won't go. Yeah. So the next round, more are coming. So, but um, for all, all of those who um can't be bothered to activate a button and want to let the towers do all the work, um, you can start placing down um super monkeys and get them to two, three, the rover monkeys. You know, in Super John Bombo's one of Super John Bombo's videos, he said that um, the Robo Monkeys are more cost efficient than the Sun Gods, although the Sun Gods are better at um, balloon popping power, whereas the Robo Monkeys are actually better for mobs. And as you can see, my um, mouse went funny there, it placed a farm over there, and yeah, that's about it. And as you can see, the mobs got absolutely demolished. So after you got, oh, so um, I actually saved up enough money to get this eco boost again, and I should be able to go for this eco boost one last time. And as you can see, I can't even get um these two eco boosts. Uh, the my fingers blocking away. Well, I went for my factory because you can't go for these two eco boosts anymore. Now to maximize your eco, you want to go for this. Um, first income boost five times and this second income boost about three times because this one um, if you press this three times it adds up to 45 if you press this um, five times it adds up to 10 10 plus 45 is 55 and 2945 eco plus 55 eco is 3000 eco exactly um, so yeah and what you want to do is go up for um, six factories and you'll be absolutely fine um, I think I could have gotten away with getting more, but, um, just for a quick guide, just, um, <coughs> yeah. Now, for your dark monkeys, what you want, want to do is, um, you want to get, uh, four or five of them to Super Monkey Fan Club, so you can activate them every 10 seconds, 10 or 11 seconds, and you will do absolutely fine, but um, as you can see, I was like, you know what, um, the inexperienced players won't bother counting, and they will always be spamming this, so why not get all of them, just for the sake of it. So I got all, all 10 of them to Super Monkey Fan Club, which is a waste of money, but um, hey, it, it, if it handicaps myself, then it handicaps myself, it will be even easier for you guys. But, however, on round 32, okay, you have to remember this. On round 32, you need to Super Monkey Fan Club um, because of the super group ceramics, as you can see. Even the Super Monkey Fan Club, right? Um, hitting the balloons, it got pushed from here to like here. And as you can see, um, I almost died right there, but um, the spamming of these Super Monkeys um, actually saved me. Um, so I don't know how well you guys um, will deal with it. So you guys have to be very careful of round 32, and as you can see, I'm trying to place as many super monkeys as possible. Um, below the track, which is like here, all the way here, all the way, all this area, right down here, below the track. Um, I fit about 29 super monkeys. 
Uh, last time I did fit about 30, but that's because um, I got rid of two, jug two juggernauts right here. Um, fitting 29 is fine, you should be almost able to get to around, um, past around 43 when it's the first EMG. And I recommend um, not upgrading these super monkeys to rover monkeys or the two free rover monkeys yet. Um, because that would be um, just, well, I mean, it's a good idea to upgrade them. Just upgrade like a few of them from time to time like me. But um, you might want to start placing them down like here and here and here. Because like, to be fair, the later you go, there'll be, there will be fast, DM, fast cooldown ZRMGs, right? And it'll be really hard to place um, super monkeys down where you can't see a thing at all. So that's why I'm just um, placing these super monkeys down early. And um, but yeah, um, but as the rounds go on, you might want to get a future rover monkeys. Um, don't keep spamming super monkeys. You want a good balance. You want a good balance. Um, I suggest going on practice mode before um, to try out the strategy before I'm um, asking. Or, or just because before I'm testing it out against the noob. So um, what I did here was keep um, four um, juggernauts just in case there were just infinite ca um, region camo leads or something, which um, it's very unlikely, but uh, you'll never know. And as you can see here, I actually sold my juggernaut here because it was taking up too much space. And you, can, you guys can count this, but if we actually count this, um, it's about 29 um, super monkeys. Um, so that could last you past round 40 or even 45. Um, and yeah, that's about it. And um, if you can do it on maps such as offside, like what I did just here, then this um, strategy will do even better on longer maps like patch or battle park or anything. Um, if you guys are wondering why am I only using six factories, why why, why am I not getting more? Um, it's not because um, it will waste money. It will actually give you more money. But I'm just doing six factories to um, try and handicap myself so you guys can follow this strategy easy more easily. And um, I think on maps like Patch, where you have a very good farming site here and a very bad farming site here, um, you can fit about 12 factories or something, I don't know, on this side of the map, map um, pum Pumpkin Patch, I think, Patch. And then on this side, you can fit five, barely six, I don't know, which really, really sucks. So I'm just um, preparing for that. Just um, to let you guys know, it's going to be doable even with um, six factories. And yeah. Um, if you guys want to know the end result, um, just feel free to skip to the end of my video. But uh, I'm just going to say it now. I did get part um, to around 53 or something, 51. Uh, I have no idea. Let me um, just watch the whole thing. And yeah. I need a drink of water. Um, enjoy my boring gameplay here of me just constantly spamming um, rover monkeys. This isn't the best way to um, to use super monkeys. What you might want to do is like build a um, temple. You might want to sacrifice a um, technological terror to it, um, and then that will give it um, an extra boost, and it will just help out your defense so much more. And you should be able to go um, last so much longer. But I just did rover monkeys for those of you who are too lazy to do a temple or something. So yeah, that's about it. And now as you can see, I'm trying to place as many super monkeys as possible by around our money. And then um, I place like three here and I just can't see anything. Um, this is the issue I was talking to you guys about. So yeah, um, I may have upgraded slightly too many um, rover monkeys for now, um, instead of placing them down all here to prepare. So, but that isn't a big deal. So, um, is this the best um, defensive mode strategy? No, it, it's um, it's like a decent strategy. Um, any strategy that that go passes um, round forty three is pretty much um, considered a good strategy because um, I, I I actually would consider um, my strategy um, the dark Home super monkey strategy um, fairly good. It's actually pretty good because it lasts all the way until round fifty. 
and I don't even I don't even have to use a single boost, a single attack, or just a single piece of energy if you're going in defensive mode. So that is pretty lit. Um, and if you guys want to know another variant of this strategy, um, you could also go in Ninja Farm Super Monkey. Um, for Ninja Farm Super Monkey, you can actually go later than that Farm Super Monkey because first you have also have the um, sabotage supply lines. And even though um, a lot of people say the ninjas are bad early game, um, which they kind of are, um, they're actually not that bad against um, just AI balloons. Because think about it, your opponent can't send you a balloons. Um, the Dark Monkey is a good balance between um, being able to kind of defend um, natural balloons and kind of defend um, scent balloons as well, whereas the Ninja, it's terrible against eco balloons, but it's really, really good against AI balloons or natural balloons. So the, um, for defensive mode, bringing Ninja is a bad idea. You can go even longer with it. And as you can see, since round 32, I haven't even activated Super Monkey Fan Club once um, from round 32, so that would be pretty lit. Um, the ZMG on the screen is getting quite far, but that's because um, it has health ramping. Um, it, if you get past the ZMG layer, um, the MOABs and BFB layers will just get wiped out instantly, so just don't worry about it. Um, I haven't even gotten the bottom half um, of the track to all Robo Monkeys yet. Um, I just did. So if you have um, all the bottom half of the track um, with like 28 or 29 Robo Monkeys to 2 3, then you'll be absolutely fine for round 43. You've pretty much gone into like free play mode. Um, as you can see, it um, to fit like a few Super Monkeys there, I had to sell my Dark Monkey there and replace it um, right here. but that wouldn't make too much of a big deal. Um, you guys are probably also asking, why am I not getting technological terrors and spamming them? Well, firstly, it drains myself, um, even though it is quite useful. And did you know the um, Robo Monkey, the 2-3, does exactly the same popping power as the 2-4? The only difference being the ability, which is $2,500. Um, wait, no, $25,000 or something. So, yeah, um, it's basically like a technological terror right now, except um, just with no, um, no abilities, which I'm not even using yet. And as you can see, I just have so much money, I'm just spamming on um, monkeys everywhere. <coughs> so the super monkey count, um, down here I have about... Um, 29 up here, um, including all of these 0, zero super monkeys, I have about 18. When you add them together, you get um, about 47 super monkeys, I think. Yeah, yeah, 47 super monkeys. And I have done this before, so um, if you apparently sell um, all these six factories and place your super monkeys very carefully, then the factories will equivalent, um, will give enough space to about 15 super monkeys. So that would be about, um, wait, 47 plus 15 is definitely 62 super monkeys. If you place um, here, one, you can place one, two, three, and four, uh, probably five, um, who knows. Um, last time I did fit like 68 super monkeys and I got to around 54 with it without activating the super monkey fan club or anything. Um, but um, if you fit 30, 66, it will, it will like be this, like similar, the same thing, and yeah. And here it is, round 50. It is the deciding round. Let's see if this strategy can get past round 50. Um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to handicap myself. I'm not going to sell a factory. I'm not going to use a single ability. I'm just going to let my towers do all the work. I'm not going to use tax. I'm not going to use a boost. Um, let's see how good this strategy works um, without micro-wise. And as you can see, the first set of um, ZMGs um, did did pretty well and yeah and for this oh i just like wait no yeah i activated ability because um yeah but hey i got to round 51 and i just died even though technically i did die to round 50 round 50 um blimps i died on round 51 so i survived all 50 rounds without boosting 
And yeah, that's about it. Even um, if I didn't boost, then the blimps would um, take much longer um, to break apart and then reach the end of my track. So screw you if you're um, against me. But um, basically, um, yeah, if I probably have about like not even 50 Robo Monkeys and I got past round 50. So that is pretty sweet. If I had sold these factories and gone for like more Robo Monkeys, maybe I would have defended, but um, who knows. Anyways, um, I didn't, um, I plan to not end the recording here, so, um, because it was just me showing that, um, you could put, um, Robo Monkeys in this spot, but look at how disorganized I am, and, uh, yeah. But, um, hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Um, next time I will be doing, um, the same map and the same strategy, except with, um, Ninja Monkeys, and, um, yeah. In general, ninja monkeys um, are just better to replace dart monkeys, and I'll show you how to do that. But um, I always like the dart monkeys, because um, if your opponent goes cobra and it starts balloon adjusting you, then that'll be bad, because um, the ninja, um, if you don't have a good fourth tower, then you can't really deal with the balloon adjustment really well, and that'll just screw up your farming. Whereas with the dart monkeys, you can, have, um, you can just spam juggernauts, and you'll be absolutely fine you'll be a slightly behind on farming whereas with ninjas you'll just be way behind on farming it, it's not even a joke um so if, if you want to risk it and go late game and if you know your opponent isn't going to go um uh how do you say it isn't going to go um cobras then feel free to go ninja farm super monkey but if you're just playing regular defensive mode and you don't know your opponent, then just go Dark Farm Super Monkey, you'll get to round 50. The chances of them getting to round 50 is like really unlikely. Um, if I like came up with this strategy before the update, um, before the um, health ramping past round 32 update, then uh, who knows, maybe this strategy could have gone past round 80 or something. I don't know. But, um, yeah, comment down below what you guys would like to see. Um, if there are no comments, then I'll just um, prepare my ninja farm and super monkey strategy. And I'll be seeing you guys next time.